What's the problem with CVs? Well, there's a huge potential for unconscious bias. We know that there have been experiments done that if you send a CV with a Western-sounding name and a CV that's identical, except it's with an Asian-sounding name, then the person with the Western-sounding name is going to get invited to interview far more often. So there's that unconscious bias, or maybe conscious bias, that we'll see in a CV that we'll see um, why you know, certain candidates will be favoured over others for nothing to do with their skills or their ability. So people are beginning to use blind CVs. Anybody using blind CVs? Yeah, a few, that's good. Um, it's good, but a CV is still very historic, isn't it? It tells you what someone has done in the past. It doesn't tell you what their potential is for what they can do in the future. And actually, that's what you're interested in because you're going to be employing them potentially in the future. So CVs don't really reflect the potential or the brilliance and the talent of the person whose CV it is. So um, to give you an example, one of our candidates is profoundly deaf. And looking at her CV, you would, I think, the alarm bells would start to ring. It certainly did with me. She was in her 40s. She'd had a number of jobs in her career, but they had all, none of them had lasted for longer than a month. And immediately your alarm bells start ringing. Why does she always leave after a month? You know, what's going on? And it turned out that the reason she left after a month each time was because her employers hadn't bothered to find out how to communicate with her. So either she didn't have the information she needed to do the job, and so couldn't do it through no fault of her own, or people just weren't communicating with her and she felt completely isolated, and so she left. So the CV bore no relation whatsoever to her ability to do the job, given the right adjustments. Um, it contains some relevant information, it contains some misleading information, it doesn't really tell you much about the uh, potential of that particular candidate. And also, we, we have to take into account the um, bias that might have happened to that candidate before. So if they have um, an Asian-sounding name and they haven't got a fantastic CV, maybe that's nothing to do with them. Maybe they haven't had the opportunities they should have done. Um, so often the bias against candidates who are different um, will have affected their work history. So their work history reflects the bias that they face, not the brilliance or the potential that they might have in the job. So CVs, you know, I'm not saying ban them completely, although we have, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but, you know, you have to use them with extreme caution, I think.